in the sky, keys in far into the night. I raise my hand to the so fire. Here we go, the first out of four cramp boxes. Because you can't it. stop it from shining through. Air temperature's dropping a little bit. So we're just curious to see what's going on with the crab. If you That's a pretty nice crab. Put some pressure on you, brought a little blood. Just be careful with it. Oh, it feels pretty good. So check that one out, guys. Now that's a that's a mess of blue crab right there. One crab pot, and I see three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. There's about 20 crabs in this pot, and they're all big crabs. just another tool to use to measure your crab and what it is on this short piece right here from here to here is five inches but from this side to this side right there where that notch is that's five and a half inches my nephew gave it to me him and his dad used to be uh, into blue crabbing and that's what they would use to sort the, the crabs uh, to determine what is a number one crab versus a number two crab? Your number two crab, you know, would be five inches, but your big blue males from point to point would be five and a half inches. So 
if I put him in there, he's not quite making it. This is another small crab. Which I don't even have to measure. right there, so we'll be close. I'm gonna stick him in the gauge. He's not making it. Look, again, probably a crab that got ate up in the crab pot. So everything else looks pretty good. I think we got probably around 20 to 23 crabs already in two pots. That first pot we didn't have but six or seven. That second one we had at least 17 or 18 keeper blue crabs. Stick with us, we got two more to pull. We can get you out. Look at guys. Look at that. So I'm shaking them down. There's a funnel right here. I'm trying to get them in the bottom of the trap. So I got them all in the bottom. So I can go to my door now, which is located right over here with a bungee strap. And I'm just going to undo it. And again, there's, uh, what, 20 crabs in here probably. I see a couple more smaller ones than the last one. back in my trap so we can stow it away nice and neat, neatly on our floater at the house. I make sure I go ahead and dump all the bait out of all the pods because it can be stinky. So that's three crab pods. We've already sorted some of them out. While you're right here, Look guys, I can look at these crabs and almost tell exactly what's what. That's a small crab. There's another small crab. That one right there is close. I don't need it. That's a small crab. Another small crab. Got down in the boat right there. Drop him. Get him out. There's a smaller crab. Another small crab. That's a pretty little small crab there. Uh, here's one that I don't see that's gonna make it. And that one right there is small. So that second pot, the third pot right there definitely had some smaller crabs in it. Pretty good quantity, but smaller crab. And this, actually this third pot, it's set out in a bigger river than the second pot where you just see me pull before this one. that had a lot more, you know, bigger crab in it. You know, I really can't tell you why, but sometimes that's just the way it goes. Guys, we've sorted them out pretty good. That's three crab pots, and we're looking good. We got one more to pull. Get with it. So, guys, we we do a lot of crab when we crab pots. I just want to mention a subscriber to my channel, uh, Sam Tudor. Uh, from the outdoors in Maryland. Y'all check them guys out. It's real interesting what they're doing. If you like anything to do with blue crabbing, uh, they do it in a lot different way than we do it right here in South Carolina. They're using trot lines. 
Uh, I think in their area, from what I understood, is the commercial crabbers are only able to use uh, the crab pots like we do. But here in South Carolina, as long as we have a recreational fishing license, we can have two pots per person. So y'all can check him out. Outdoors in Maryland. Guys, this is crab pot number four. This is going to be the last one that we're going to be pulling today. And Stephanie will show you it's a smaller creek that we're in again. So let's see what's in this, this side of the small creek. I mean, the pot feels pretty good, it's pretty heavy. So let's pull it. Hey guys. So again, I'm just trying to get the crabs down through the funnel in the bottom. We got plenty of crabs in this crab pot. I'm guessing they're somewhere around 20. Looking for my entrance. Opening it up. This is a little different type of pot. You spread the wire. Got another one right up there that I didn't get down to the funnel. if y'all would just look at it. There you go, Stephanie. There's four crab pots. I'm still gonna take them back. Look at this one right here. Take a, look, take a quick look at this. You see that right there? What that is, that's where one of the other crabs has grabbed him and just pinched with him. So they got a lot of pressure with those claws. They can, they can really put a lot of pressure on you if they grab you too. So we did, all of them look pretty good so far, but we're still gonna take them, you know, we're right here by our dock. We're gonna take them back over here and we're just gonna sort them the rest of the way at the dock. You know, we'll make sure that we don't keep anything that's undersized. And another thing that we don't do personally, not that, not that it's a, a law in South Carolina, but we don't keep female crabs. We, we catch enough male crabs back in these creeks that we don't need to fit female crabs. We leave them and we're letting them, you know, just reproduce. So. I guess that's about it. 